Hey everybody, uh, we just wanted to make a video uh, in regards to Frankie and his condition right now. He has IVDD, intervertebral disc disease. It's basically slipped discs. Right now he has a, swol it's a bunch of swollen tissue surrounding his spinal column and it's pressing on the nerve. He is slowly losing his mobility and we do not have much time left. Yeah, and we realize that this is the Christmas season and uh, everybody's got their own stuff going on right now. Uh, but we can't really pick what time stuff like this happens. It's it seems to happen at Christmas time a lot to us. Two Last Christmases. year was Mitzi. Two Christmases in a row now we've had. We've had sort of, I don't want to call it tragedy yet because there's still hope for Frank. There is, but this is our only hope. Our is raising money for Frankie to have a surgery. Uh, at first we had decided we weren't going to do surgery, mm -hmm. but then we researched it, we spoke to vets, we took his age, he's only eight years old, we took his age into consideration and his quality of life. And I personally feel that he has saved my life so many times that I owe it to him to save his life. So we're doing everything we can. And up to this point, we've, we've run out of options and this is our last option. He is so much more than a dog to me. He's, he is my best friend and my soulmate. No offense, I love you to death. You are my husband and I love I know. You. But uh, this dog is, he's been everything to me for eight years. And if I truly felt in my gut and in my heart and in my head that it was his time to go, I would let it be just like I did with Mitzi, she was older. But I feel that Frankie has a fighting chance. We won't put him through surgery after surgery after surgery, but we feel that one shot, he, he deserves it. He deserves at least one shot. He's too young for us to give up on him just yet. And he's been, we've taken him to the vet to have x-rays. It's been sent off to a specialist uh, where we found out about his vertebrae and his, they confirmed his IVDD. And his uh, degeneration, his degenerative disease in his shoulders and one of his hips. This is all playing a major role, but the only places that do CT scans and surgeries for dog spinal columns that we are aware of are located in Ontario and Saskatoon. Saskatoon is or Saskatchewan, pardon me. Saskatchewan is much closer to us. Mm -hmm. And it, it would take a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of recovery, but I'm a very dedicated mom. He has a very strict medical regime right now and relaxation and I've been basing my entire days around this. I don't sleep anymore. I'm very tired. I put on makeup for you guys today <laughs> so that I actually looked like a human being. So this CT scan and surgery, like she was saying, has to happen in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, which is eight to nine hours away from where we are right now. So that would include traveling out there. The CT scan, we got quoted approximately $1,500 just for the just scan. Just for the scan. And then there's the surgery, which is anywhere between five to $10,000. I mean, 10,000 is on the very high end. That's but probably for a bigger dog. Probably be somewhere around 7,000, we're thinking. We have set our goal on GoFundMe for $8,000. We've highballed it for emergency purposes. You never know what's gonna happen, but we've discussed it and we feel that if there is any leftover money, we would like to donate it to a rescue or a shelter of our choosing for canines. Mm -hmm. And that would come once we find out how much is left over after the surgery. None of this will be used towards us. We're not going to go buy anything for ourselves or treat no. ourselves to anything. We'll be completely transparent on where we're spending the money. It's Every not dollar. easy. It's not easy for us, especially for me, well, for either of us to ask for help. I'm, I'm not the kind of guy who even likes taking money from our parents. I, I hate it. My husband is a very, very hardworking man. Between trucking and YouTube, he barely even has time to breathe half the time. He never gets to sit down and watch a movie, really. At least not a full but. one. He. You work your butt off and I truly appreciate it, but it's Christmas time and 
I mean, who can really afford an $8,000 surgery? And at any time, and we realize that everything's tight for you guys as well too during Christmas. So... We're not expecting the world from you, but if you are able, please help us. Honestly, we are desperate at this point. Yeah, we're e-begging. And I'm sorry, but I'm not e-begging for material things. I'm not e-begging because we messed up and can't afford our bills. We are e-begging because I'm trying to save his life. And time is of the essence. If he wakes up paralyzed tomorrow, we have 24 hours to get him that surgery. And he's about half paralyzed right now. Well, it's very hard for him to walk, especially in the mornings and the evenings. During the day, sometimes he has a good couple of... Once good, his meds kick in. Once his meds kick in. He's on a lot of meds right now. Yeah, but yeah. But he, it's very hard for him to walk on his own. Uh, and it causes him a lot of pain. So if, if this surgery isn't an option for us, if we can't get the surgery, there's no other option. There's no hope. And living without my puppy right now would destroy me. So we're doing everything we can. And that's come down to our last resort of asking for help. So if you, if you are able to help, please do. Uh, if, if you can't help financially, if you could just share out our GoFundMe, just on your social that media. That in itself is a big help. That's a huge help already. I uh, understand. There's been times when I've wanted to give to GoFundMes and I wasn't able, but there have been times when it's been my last 50 bucks and guess what? I gave it away because I felt in my heart that it was right. Mm -hmm. And so if you can find it in yours and you have something spare laying around, we would truly appreciate it. If not, that's okay too. Obviously your family comes first. It's the Christmas season. Make sure your family's taken care of. But again, like she said, if there's anything you can help, we'd greatly appreciate it at this time. It's uh, not exactly what we wanted to do. Come Definitely. on here asking for help in eBay. But it's necessary and that is why. Shame us all you want, <laughs> but we're not ashamed because mm -hmm. we love, we love him and he is one of our children. As you know, we uh, experienced a great loss this year. I also found out that one of my parents is very sick. Right now, my dad is also in the hospital. He almost died the other day. We're having a very rough year. We could just use your help. And again, once, uh, once we have the amount we need for the surgery, we will take you guys along with us uh, here on YouTube to show you. We'll show you the costs and we'll show you where the money's going and anything, if we have anything left over at the end that we didn't need. It will be donated. We'll donate it to an animal shelter, animal rescue of our choosing at that time. And we'll take you along with us when we deliver that check. So not one dollar, not one penny of this is gonna go towards us. It's all for Frankie. And if there's more than he needs, then it'll go to help some other animal in need. Thank you in advance for anything you're able to give us. I really appreciate Truly. it. Truly. I planned to relaunch Brit's Beat on Christmas Day as a surprise to you all. Unfortunately, with this situation progressing so quickly with Frankie's health, I decided that this was a little more important than surprising you. I will still make a video on Christmas Day, provided that we are here and not in Saskatoon. Hopefully we're able to hold out a little bit longer for his surgery, but I guess I'm relaunching now. It's time is of the essence and we need help. So welcome back to Brit's Beat. Good morning, everybody. So we just want to show you how we start our days out. Frankie's usually sleeping in the bed down here because I'm worried about you know, moving too fast or hurting him in the middle of the night. But then we bring him up here for a quick snuggle in the morning. Can you get up? Do you want to go outside? No, you can't get up. Okay. So I just assist him to get up. See if his front paws will work today. Probably not. So we just pick him up very gently. And we'll carry him outside and see if he's able to go to the washroom. If he's not, we'll bring him back inside and put some heat on him for a while to hopefully loosen up some muscles. Um, <clears throat> some days when Frankie can't walk, 
I have to take a king size pillowcase as like a sling underneath his chest and his tummy so that he's able to go outside and pee and poop. Um, hopefully you're not having to do that today, but whatever it takes. Thankfully it hasn't been a very cold winter yet, so he's not having too many problems just yet. Hey buddy, go ahead. Go to the bathroom. He's actually doing quite well today. I think he plays brave whenever uh, his daddy is home. He doesn't like to show a bunch of vulnerability around daddy and the other dogs, so. But he's doing better than he has been all week, actually, today, so. Could be thanks to the new herbal remedy that he's on, but. And then once he's done going to the washroom, I bring him up because I don't let him do stairs. Next, I'm just gonna grab his bed from the bedroom, pull it out to the living room, heat up a heating pack, and then we'll get his breakfast ready. Just drag it out of the bedroom with my feet every morning and hope that I don't slip. So far, so good. Please excuse the mess. I was very tired last night. After only sleeping two, three hours a night, I'm starting to burn out pretty quickly. And as gently as possible, supporting his spine, I lay him down and I'll go get the heating pack ready to put on this area for some relaxation for him. Because going outside and going to the bathroom is a lot of strain on him right now. So this is a Thera Pearl that I picked up when Frankie was having issues with only his, his shoulder. Uh, it's a heating and cooling pack. It works very, very well, and Frankie loves it. So I just wrap it up. We're going to feed him before we heat him, actually. I'm going to show you how he walks. We're just going to keep it warm in this towel for now. So this is Frankie's medicine lineup. Um, right now we're not giving him Medicam because as of tomorrow... Sorry, he was crying. I'm coming. As of tomorrow morning, he'll be switched to steroids, so we're doing a 72-hour fle flush from this Medicam right now. Uh, these are his heart pills. This is an herbal remedy, both an oil and a pill, and his glucosamine. He's a little guy, so he gets a little bit of food. not even getting up right now so that just tells you how sore he is because nothing stops Frankie from getting food so he gets half of one of these twice a day it's very hard to open we'll do that in a minute he gets uh, three no point three mls of this herbal oil I'm coming, buddy. And then he gets his heart pill. Keep in mind, this is a dog that's never been on medicine in his entire life. He went from zero to 60 within only a few days. I know, buddy. I hear you. I'm coming. One minute. This is a uh, liquid glucosamine. He gets three mLs of this in the morning just to lubricate his joints. I hear you, sweetheart. Mom's coming. Doesn't have any measurements left because I've washed it so many times, but I know exactly where it goes. Let's go give this to him. Mom is coming. I hear you crying. Oh, you like this stuff. Yeah, you take it like a trooper. Good boy. Okay, go get your breakfast. I 
I tip the bowl so that his neck doesn't have to stretch across the whole thing. Usually I have to hold him up while we do this, but he's being big and brave with his dad here. Here you go, to bowl. Get all your herbal mixtures. Good boy. Okay, do you want to go back and lay down? Maybe we'll put some ice on your back now. Come on. Come on, Clay. Come on, Frank. Let's go lay down. Come on. So I've been massaging his paws, keep the blood flow going lots. We'll put his heating pack back on for another five minutes and then we'll switch to ice. <sighs> 